the next speaker, he's actually another pivotal colleague. He's actually on my team. James Weaver, he goes around the world talking about all sorts of things, computational music, he's a Java champion, all these things, so give it up for James Weaver. He's gonna to talk to us about quantum computing. So um, in the 1940s, computers took up large rooms, bits were scarce, software was in its infancy, and it's repeating itself now. Quantum computers take up large rooms, there's a limited number of quantum bits, and everything's brand new. Now, why use quantum computing? Well, there's some classes of problems that will never be suited for classical computing, like breaking RSA algorithms, f factoring large numbers into primes. So with quantum computing, it, you get an exponential speed up for some problems. So quantum computing is based upon quantum mechanics. It leverages quantum mechanics, so I thought I'd give you a little lesson using Grumpy Cat into quantum mechanics. So I have this cat. It's, uh, it's microscopic. Uh, sometimes when I observe him, he's grumpy, and sometimes when I observe him, he's happy. And so that's axiom one is the superposition principle. Um, uh, my cat can be grumpy, as we see on the x-axis, or happy, as we see on the y-axis, or any combination of those, as we see on the unit circle. He could be half grumpy, half happy, etc. So we can re represent these, these quantum states, these states of the cats, on a unit circle on the left. Here we see grumpy cat as, uh, as, as Cartesian coordinate one zero. And if you look at the right then, we see him represented as a, a, a vector. Well, there's happy cat. Well, that's zero one, and we can see him rep represented as a vector. And then we can see a superposition. For example, this example is uh, the root of one third grumpy and the root of two thirds happy. And we represent him that state as, um, as a vector. So that's uh, axiom one, the superposition principle. Axiom number two is the unitary evolution. That's the ability to take a quantum state and run it through gates and get another one. So there's Grumpy Cat running him through a bit flip gate, an X gate, and then becomes happy. And then what you see below then is the, the matrix that represents the bit flip gate. There's also what's called a Hadamard gate. Now that's great for putting uh, cats into equal superpositions, which you need for uh, a lot of different quantum computing algorithms. And there's the matrix. The axiom three is measurement. Um, so there's a, there's a probability that the cat's gonna be grumpy when measured or happy when measured. In this case, when we have root of one third um, grumpy and root of two thirds happy, then the probability is the square of those amplitudes, so one third and two thirds. So we, we're talking about one cat, but we could also have two cats or many cats, and that's a composite quantum state. So to, to represent composite quantum states, you take the, the vectors that represent the individual quantum states and you, you do a tensor multiplication, as you can see on the right, and then in this particular case, because we're, we have a, a two-state cat, then we have four states. So now, putting all together, we have uh, superpositions, we go through quantum gates, and then we have probability of measuring different states. So that's the three axioms of quantum mechanics. And now we have this other, um, this other quality of quantum mechanics called entanglement that helps um, realize some algorithms, some quantum computing algorithms. So we have Alice Cat and Bob Cat, and we have this quantum circuit. We take Alice, we run her through a Hadamard gate, and if you can see below there, um, she goes into a sup equal superposition of grumpy and happy, but then Bob is still just full on grumpy. Then we run them both through a C not gate, a, a control not gate, and that puts them in a special state that I've noted here with that cat bell called the bell state. That's an entangled state. So if we take Alice and then put her on a rocket ship and send her to Venus, put Bob to Mars, and then if we observe Alice and she is happy, 
then it's a 100% probability that if we observe Bob, that he'll be happy. But if instead we had observed one of them and perhaps uh, Bob was grumpy, then there's a 100% probability then that Alice would be grumpy because they are um, entangled. So anyway, that's a primer on um, quantum computing, quantum mechanics, using superpositional cats. Thank you very much.